Hey everyone, how are we doing today? This is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to go through a database that a student sent me, and I think this is an excellent database to go through, talk about how I find leaks in a database, what kind of filters I'm running, what kind of filters I run when I'm trying to dig a little bit deeper and look at more specific situations. And we'll also talk a little bit about the numbers I'm looking for, the kind of ranges I like, and that sort of stuff as well. So if you've never really used used your database like this it can be very very powerful or if you've used your database but you're not quite sure how to take it to the next level this video should be very very useful so without further ado let's just jump right into it start having some fun and talk about how to find leaks in your database okay so this again is a sample sent in by one of my students who I did a leak finder on back in June and you notice that we are looking at stats at 100 no limit both rush and regular mostly at rush and we're looking at a sample size of give or take around 110 K hands with winnings of give or take around 2.9 K and for the record I only work in big BB per hundred so you notice that this is 1.3 big BB per hundred if you're working in little that would be 2.6 and you also notice that we are are running better than EV so we are running a little bit good as far as the sample is concerned as far as all in EV is concerned so let's just get that out of our way for a moment so what I first like to do is like to look at some basic stats and kind of go from there see if there's any glaring leaks just straight off the bat so VPIP PFR is definitely running pretty standard tag stats roughly 14 12 aggression factor at roughly 2.5 so I can be okay with that and sometimes I'll look through something like this and I'll say, okay, you should probably tighten up a little bit. Other times I'll say, well, there's not a tremendous amount of leakage, but I think you're leaking by not taking more situations such as good steals or good three bets or whatever it be. So keep that in mind. Just because you are running quote unquote good tag numbers doesn't necessarily mean that you're running it the best you possibly can. So next we see when to showdown and when money is showdown, roughly 26.54. I usually would prefer when to showdown be a pinch smaller and when money at showdown be a pinch higher. So I think that he might have some sort of post flop station -y issue. And if I drag this across and look at a stat called RCW, which is river call win percentage, you notice his at roughly 42. I usually prefer that number be a little closer to 44%. So I think that he probably has a little bit of a station issue post flop. And obviously we all know that will get us killed in a heartbeat. So I think he would be much better off spending some time going through his post flop hands making sure that he's being disciplined and finding the full button when he needs to and also not missing value bets of course cold call percentage of 5.4 totally standard squeeze and three bet percentages are okay could be might be able to do it more might have to do it less again we're kind of look through some filters and see what we think about that his verse three bet fold is 70 percent 